Welcome back to another Training the Street Excel Shortcut. My name is Daniel Hofstein, and today we're going to talk about creating an income statement or really creating just about any model in Excel. So on the screen, what we see here is a income statement that isn't fully built out yet, but I want to talk to you a little bit about it. When we're first building out our income statement, step one is going to be input historical information. We always start here. We want to review the past. In addition to reviewing the past, we're not just going to review an input, but we are also going to analyze those most important aspects, like those KPIs that are helping to drive the business. In this case, we've got our sales growth rate, our gross margin, and our SG&A expense as a percentage of sales. This is just analyzing, seeing, okay, what were they based on this historical information? brings us to this third step, which is probably the most important. This is where we project our assumptions. And it really takes just a lot of research to get here. There is no end in the amount of research that you can do to come up with what does the world look like in the future. It's very difficult. And it's always based on, you know, our limited time, limited knowledge, and what we have access to. But this should be the most time-consuming part of the model. Once we have those assumptions, we finally take those and project them up into the future where we have our final projections, which are really dollars and cents. We can then run analyses on that. We can do all sorts of different things. But when we are building our model, we start with our historical information. We do the research to come to see what the future is going to look like. And then finally, we create our final projections. Now, maybe your model isn't designed exactly like this. Maybe you have an entire assumptions page and that is perfectly all right. But in general, this is how every aspect of our model should be looking. Step one, grab that historical information. Step two, analyze that historical information, pull out those most important KPIs. Those most important KPIs, we are going to project those assumptions based on our research. And then finally, we're gonna complete the model. But every time that we are working on this, we work in this same sort of U fashion. Thank you. My name is Daniel Hofstein. Looking forward to having you again here with Train the Street for another Excel shortcut.